Hi everyone, this is Ms. Sahra, and today we will be reviewing for our final exam for Term 2. Okay, so let's look um, at our structure of the exam paper. So remember, our exam is made up of 20 questions. 15 questions are multiple choice questions for four marks each. And our written questions, we call them free response, these questions are five questions, but they are worth eight marks each. Okay, we will start by reviewing lesson one, types of energy. The pages that will be examined are page 12, 14, 15, and 23. Page 12 will be a written response question. So this one here, you will be required to write. Okay, so let's talk about our forms of energy. Remember that energy is the ability to do work. Okay, today we are going to look at a few different kinds of energies, chemical energy, like the energy found inside of batteries and food. Nuclear energy, like the energy found inside of the sun and nuclear power plants. Okay, so these energies are stored energies. So stored energy is energy that is inside of something, and we can also call it potential energy. We learned about these energies in term one. So the meaning of chemical and nuclear energy is almost the same. Both of these energies are stored between, so they're stored in the links between particles. So we're going to say stored in the links. So the things that are joining particles together. Stored in links between particles. That make up this part here. So you will learn this meaning for both of these words. But the last word is different. Chemical energy is found within uh, in the links between particles that make up materials like wood, food, or batteries. And nuclear energy is found in the in the links between particles that make up matter. So the meaning of the words are almost the same. The only difference is for nuclear we will say. Uh, matter, and for chemical, we will use the word materials. Okay, when these links are broken, the energy is released. When the links are broken, the energy will come out. Okay, so this energy is stored energy. The next kind of energy we're going to look at are moving energies. The moving energies, we call them kinetic. So kinetic energy is moving. For example, your light energy. Okay, we know that light energy is energy that moves through matter and through empty space. And we can see it with our eyes. Okay, so it moves through matter and empty space. It can move through materials and it can move through empty space. Then we get electrical energy. This energy moves through wires. Light and electrical energy, we will discuss more in uh, another video. Okay, so thermal energy, thermal, ha, for hot. And this energy 
moves from hot things to cold things. So just remember thermal is hot. You will also maybe see the word heat sometimes, for example, from a fire, from a heater, um, anything that gets hot, a toaster, over here you have a match, anything that lets the energy come out as heat, hot energy, we call it thermal energy. The last kind of energy we're going to look at is sound energy. Sound energy, it starts with a vibration and it moves through material. It cannot move in empty space, so it must move through matter, and it moves where? To our ears. And then we hear it as sound. So these are the six kinds of energy. Okay, we can group them as stored energy or energy of motion. Okay, these points are very important. We have already discussed them. You may pause this video and take a moment to read through it and try and remember. Okay, this is for our writing questions. So make sure that you know how to spell these words, how to make your own sentences using the words, and they may ask any question about it. But if you understood the concept of chemical and nuclear energy, then you will be able to write the answer. Okay, so now let's talk about energy transfer and energy transformation. So both of these words start almost the same way, trans and trans. But the one has for at the end, and the one has formation. So this word form or formation means to make something new, to change. So to change to something new is formation. Transfer just means to move it, but it stays the same. So for example, the energy when you kick a football is moving in your foot. So moving energy from your foot is then transferred into the ball, which also starts to move. So even though the energy has gone to something, a different object, it is the same energy moving and moving. So we call this energy transfer. But if the energy becomes a new form of energy from the six that we have learned of, if it changes into something else, then we call it transformation. For example, when we use an electrical device, the device changes electrical energy into a different form of energy. In this example, thermal energy. Okay, so that's um, how we can summarize transfer and transformation. Let's look at some examples of how energy transforms changes in this picture. Okay, so if we look over here at number one, we can see that there's a window. And from the window, light energy is coming in. So we can see that um, energy is, it comes originally from the sun. Inside of the sun, we have nuclear energy. And it changes to light energy, which is then transferred into the room. Okay, so um, to the room. Okay, so from the sun. So the nuclear energy comes up, happens in the sun, and it transforms the energy into light. And that light energy then comes all the way through space into the room. Over here, we have this teacher, and he is talking. The teacher is changing. Uh, his chemical energy from his body into sound energy as he talks. Over here we have a computer. A computer uses electrical energy. So the energy from the electricity, electrical energy, 
is then changed into many different things. As we use a computer, we have light, it gets hot, so we have thermal energy, and it also makes sounds, so we have sound energy. Here at number four, we can see these students here are building a model. So as they build their model, I'll write the answer here, as they build their model inside of their bodies, they had chemical energy from the food they ate, and that energy then is transformed or changed into moving energy as they move their hands to build the model. Okay, on page 23 of your book are three questions. You must learn these. So let's look at what they mean to understand the answer. The first question says, which best describes how energy changes in a toaster? A toaster is this device. We can see that the toaster uses electrical energy, and we also know that it makes something hot. So we know we are looking for a word electrical, and we want to find the end being thermal. So we look at our options, and we can see that that is option C. In the second question, it says a radio sitting on a table made water move. What can we conclude? If the radio made the water move, that means the energy is transferred from the radio into the water. The energy there is moved from the radio into the water. So these vibrations will move. Okay, and the last question, you had to fill in um, what happened over here. So remember, they could change any of these. The main thing is to understand your types of energy. Here they say the word motion, which we know is something moving or kinetic. Sorry, I spelled that wrong. Um, moving, right? So something that is moving to a sound energy. So if we look at these examples, burning is thermal energy. So burning a candle, that would be chemical becoming thermal. Here we have plucked guitar. That is when you move the string and it makes a noise. A noise is a sound. Here we have the ball roll down, down a hill. So we had potential energy in a ball that went down the hill and it became moving energy. Here we have rubbing warm hands that is moving to warm thermal. Okay, so only two options involve moving, B and D. But we must also look for the end being sound. Here we have thermal, sound, kinetic, thermal. The only option that gives us sound is B. And that is why we chose this as the answer. Hey, now it's time for you to practice. Please scan the link or you can join using the code over here and um, give these questions a try. Good luck.